Okay, so there is something called the percent circle. Also, it might be called percent will, depending on what you search. So basically, we use a circle that's cut up into three different parts to represent um, sentences or scenarios in math. And this is kind of your shortcut or kind of visual trick to solving a percent problem. So the way this works is you're going to put the percent in the bottom left corner, the whole in the bottom right corner, and the part in the top section. Okay, so this part we can recognize, part, whole, percent, but when we see a problem such as what is 30% of 40. Now the question becomes, okay, what's the part, what's the whole, what's the percent? So let's go through placing these numbers in the correct spaces. The one that should stand out is the symbol percent. So the percent is going to go in the bottom left. So the number with the percent sign goes in the bottom left. But there's one catch to the percent. You need to write it as a decimal. So if I have 30%, remember to change that to a decimal, you figure out that the decimal goes at the end because it's a whole number, and then move it twice to change that percent into a decimal. So it becomes 0.30. So I'm going to stick this decimal in the front, All right? Move it two spaces. So now the question is, what about that 40? What does that mean? So if I kind of circle it, All right, of 40, there's one trick that I like to use. So we have part over whole, and that's the same as is over of. So is is like the part, and of is like the whole. If we have of 40, that means that is the whole. So I'm going to put the 40 in the whole section. So the piece that is missing is the part. All right, we don't know what this part means. Okay, so we'll figure out how to solve for that part in a little bit, but let's do another example of just placing the sections for a question into the right parts of the circle. So another example might be 30 is 20% of what number? So I'll start by drawing my circle and now I'm going to look for the thing that stands out the most, right? that percent symbol. So remember the percent symbol is the percent section, but we need to write it as a decimal. So we'll put 0.20. And now we look for the other number, which will be 30. So what word is around 30? And that would be the word is. So 30 is. Remember, part is the same as is, and whole is the same as of. So 30 is, and that's going to go on the top in the part. So the piece that I'm missing, that what part, of what, that's going to be the missing piece, the whole. So I'm missing the whole. One last example you might have is something like, what percent of 50 is 40? Draw the circle. And remember, right off the bat, you want to look for that percent symbol. I don't see the symbol. Instead, I see the word percent. So that means the percent part is the part that's missing. We're not done because I still need to figure out where the 50 and the 40 go. 
So I find the 50, there's two words next to it, but there's only one word next to the 40. So is must go with 40, and of will go with 50. So remember, of means whole, and then is would be part. So part, 40, and then whole, 50.